Hey, what's up you guys? It's your boy Kelvin here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do another first. And a first of what? We are going to clean. And for the first time in my life, I actually really enjoyed it. When 2019 was coming around the corner, I was like, damn, like what do I gotta do in 2019 to make sure that it could be and will be the best year of my life? And I realized that I think one of the goals I wanna be is just more organized. Uh, I've kind of came to this realization that I have too many things uh, and too many things that I really don't need and could be used elsewhere uh, for better purposes and uses. So a few months ago I came across this book uh, called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. I think that's what the title is by a wizard angel of organization. Her name is Marie Kondo and she is an organizational actor. She works with her clients uh, to help them clean, uh, clean and organize and declutter and really restructure their life. And really she, her method is very pretty serious in the sense that she usually does this once with her clients and then their life changes. So I was really interested. So I read the whole book. And then now recently she came out with a Netflix series. And I kind of want to bring you along how I've kind of used this in my life. Now, prior to filming this video, actually, like I said, two or three months ago is when I read the book, I've already purged where I currently live. And I already went through her method. And I can say, absolutely in love. I, my life feels so much more structured and so much better. But then I realized that I left, you know, my parents' house kind of in chaos when I left. I haven't been there for around one to two years and there's 25 years worth of stuff in there that I was like, you know what? It's time. It's things just gotta go. Things got to go. So Marie's method called the Komono method kind of breaks down cleaning in a very specific structure and root process in terms of what to start cleaning first and how to do so. So the first category that she starts with is clothes. So today I'm going to bring you to how I purged my family home, my parents' house and all of the clothes that were in there. And in the end, that equated to over a hundred pieces of clothing that I am now going to donate. That was 10 bags of clothes and a whole mountain that it took me an entire Sunday day to take care of. If you want to see how that happened, then stay tuned and keep on watching. And there she goes. Uh, this used to be my old room. I have modified it to be my closet and my wardrobe. And as you can see, we are in an other shit show. We got, I don't even, I don't even know how many t-shirts in there. I don't even know how many jackets and pants in there. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Oh my god. So step one, according to Marie Kondo, we gotta toss everything onto the bed so so the Marie Kondo method doesn't play around she makes you put all of your clothes onto the bed so you really get an understanding at one glance how much you actually have so I wanted to give you kind of a idea that is a damn and this is only half of it because the other half is in my current house and God knows what that looks like. So, um, this is probably gonna take me a while to go through, but as Marie Kondo's method goes, I gotta pick up each piece, I gotta figure out, does this spark joy? And then, if it does, then I keep it, and if it doesn't, then I say thank you and goodbye. So, I think I'm gonna need a few garbage bags. So we got a little special guest here, a little cameo appearance from Coffee. So with Marie's method, you have to hold up each piece and determine, does this bring me joy? So we're pretty much done. The bed is clear. That took not too, too long, but there's still a garbage bag full, but I'm just gonna start putting stuff back to where they belong. So for sweaters, she recommends putting stuff lightest to darkest. So that's what I'm doing here, hanging it up. 
So with my t-shirts before, I would have t-shirts stacked on top of each other, but Marie's recommendation is to actually put them on the other side vertically. So now when you lay it like this, you can see all of the t-shirts at once. So now you don't have any of those t-shirts that you just forget about at the bottom. Now I think I'm ready to show you the finished product! Ooh. We've got a drawer for tank tops, we've got our t-shirt drawer with some long sleeves and there's actually space! We've got some folded bigger sweaters and that's it for tops and then for pants we've got denim, denim, denim sweatpants. Dress shirts, shorts, accessories and that's it and to show you how much we're throwing away this is all gonna be donated success and already two bags ready to go so guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'd love to hear what you thought about it. So make sure you leave a comment, have a question, leave a question. I love reading your comments. Uh, it really does make me very happy, too happy. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. But until next time, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. Once again, my name is Kelvin and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.